Hello, beautiful beings. I'm really excited. This is the seventh chakra we are uncapping today with light language. And this is the last one of the series. We've gone through the first all the way up to the seventh. We started with the heart chakra. Um, so I have found that starting with the heart chakra, whenever we're doing opening and um, chakra clearing work, it it's nice to start with the, the heart because we're, it puts us into receiving mode. So why would we uncap the seventh chakra? So I'm just going to do a little background with this that I give in each video. But I do want to let you know that next week I'm going to be putting all the all the chakras together in a light language uh, video. So it'll be a long meditation for uncapping chakras one through seven. So that'll be coming up next week under my light language playlist. So be sure to check that out. And I'll also put it in the uncapping the chakras playlist too. So uh, thanks for being here. Thanks for being in this tribe. If you're joining on uh, in the replay or live, thank you for being here. And if you come on live, be sure to uh, say hi. All right, beautiful beings. So why would we uncap the chakras? So like you, <laughs> you are ascending and raising your vibration. Well, as you do that, so do your chakras. Your chakras start to ascend and evolve. So our chakras are really important features of our humanness. So what happens is we have a human experience because the chakras are taking in high light frequencies and they're condensing them. And it condenses them into like a field so that we have this uh, meat suit <laughs> that's really just space and and uh, a, a low frequency uh, density that's happening so as we raise our vibration with our ascension energies the chakras are ready to evolve to their next way of being which is being uncapped and expanded out so that it can stop densifying the energy as much because to sustain high frequencies in a physical body, um, it's my awareness that our chakras have to switch up so they stop doing the job that they've been doing for 3D bodies. Now we're heading into you know 5D, 6D, 5D, whatever on up, uh, 5D and dimensional bodies. So we have to switch and evolve our chakras. And they're ready. They're ready for this. So with today's practice what we're going to do is just we're going to use light language with the intention and with the energy of a source of the 144th dimension and we're going to ask the chakras to the seventh chakra to uncap and expand the width of the body and go to its next evolutionary state or space to hold the ascension energy that's uh appropriate for whoever's listening so that's what we're going to play today. And we're going to work on the seventh chakra. Now, each one of these videos that I've done, I talk about the nature of the chakra map as it's capped. And basically what that psychology is. And then what happens when they are uncapped? What happens when they expand out? How does that psychology change? And for the seventh chakra, you know, it's all about making a connection to source energy, to God, to the heavens. Now, when we uncap it and we expand it out, what's happening is that we are living from a space of beingness now. We no longer have to reach out to something separate and connect. When this starts to evolve, we are really taking the perspective and the reality of we are our God self. We are that spark. And we no longer have to connect to it. We just have to tune ourselves to the frequency that is already with us, it within us and end us. So we are tapping into what we be instead of having to connect with something separate. And so that is the perspective we're holding as we evolve this seventh chakra. So beautiful being, let's just get right to it. Let's uncap this, this uh, seventh chakra. And as I go through this, if there is anything that comes up for you, any visuals, 
any thoughts, any um, dense emotion, anything that's being released from the subconscious, uh, you put it in the, the comments. Um, if you are kind of like, wow, this is a little intense for me, you're not alone. Um, I do do session work. I do a free discovery call. I do three month immersions. You can do single sessions. I do sound healing. You know, so you are supported if, if you're listening to these and you feel like you are releasing a lot and it's uh, you're maybe uh, ha it's happening fast and you have some ascension symptoms, you want help processing or integrating, that's possible. So just go to my website, RebeccaAbraxis.com and you'll find all that information there. All right, beautiful beings. So if you are ready to receive this, let's do this. So sit in a space where you are comfortable, lying down, sitting down. And if it could be a place where you are going to be uninterrupted, that would be most beneficial. And from there, just put yourself in receiving mode. Okay, just place your hands on your heart. Ask your body and being to really receive this activation. Okay. And from there, I'm just going to take a moment to really make sure my energy is where I want it to be. And I'm going to put a, just a little protection around us as well. Okay. Tuning into the crown. Visualize. Physically uncap your chakra and see the spinning wheel expanding out to a band of light. The width of your shoulders. And for the seventh chakra, what color do you see there? It could be white, could be purple, maybe it's something else. And we're going to ask the seventh chakra to uncap and come to its next space of evolution to sustain and hold higher frequencies for this body and being.
<sighs> so if you are here live, say hi in the chat. So that was just the light language to uncap the seventh chakra. And if you missed that, um, you can go back to the replay. <sighs> so yeah, any questions you have about the evolutionary process of the chakras, definitely put it in the chat or the comments. Happy to hear your questions or what you know about this. I'm feeling pretty, uh, pretty light and pretty um, dropped into just a really deep peace right now. Um, that was pretty powerful. So yeah, the chakras are evolving with us. The chakra map, as we know it, some will still be using it and others will be evolving that map. And that's what we're doing here. Um, we just did the light language for chakra seven. And I have a playlist called um, Uncapping the Chakras and then you'll have one through eight, one through six there. And then I'll make a whole uh, one video that has the meditation of all of them. And so do you, once they're uncapped, do you need to do anything else? And I would say, yes, um, anyone that's entering the ascension uh, path of their awakening journey, um, I would say for a while, it's important to keep training the chakras, keep encouraging them to stay expanded. And I would say that it's also important to do regular practice to sustain high frequencies. Um, I don't feel like once you evolve the chakras and release some karma from them. Um, you won't dip as low, but we still can go up and down. So how do we sustain high? Um, we're human beings, so we're always going to be, you know, dipping up and down, but there are ways to sustain it higher. And that's what I, that that's the practices I teach. And that's what I'm doing every day with myself. Um, and I do a lot of it with light language and just my own vocal toning and building awareness and letting the tension speak through vocal toning and releasing tension. And um, yeah, this hair that just wants to keep going right into my mouth. Um, so that's, that's the seventh chakra. And I'll just repeat what I started with is that when we uncap the chakras, they their whole mission evolves too. So like the seventh chakra is all about connecting, right? Connecting to the heavens, connecting to um, source, connecting. But when you make a connection, think about that. It's two things connecting. That means we're viewing it as separate. So when we are evolving the seventh chakra, what we're coming into the perspective is that we're not separate anymore. We, we are the energy of source. And what we're doing is just tuning ourselves to that vibration. That's already us. And so I think that's a big distinction in our ascension journey that we are the frequency. We are that energy of, of source. And living from that perspective is very different living as source energy rather than living to connect with it or pray to it or ask it or saying that the universe has your back. You have your back if you're willing to as the universe, as source. You are what you attract. You are creating. You are a, a, a powerful creator, an infinite being. And by opening this, you take on that perspective so you can tell when you need to go revisit and sustain something, bring something higher is if the perspective, you know, if your, your trust is wavering, if your perspective of yourself as source, source is, is wavering, if you are feeling lower um, uh, energy emotions like fear or guilt or jealousy or anger, like no big deal. It's just notice. And then, you know, 
right, raise yourself back up. That's showing you, those emotions are showing that you have spiraled down a little bit. You've left the ascension energies. So um, no big deal. Use it as a little alert system. And when you're alerted to that, it's like, you know, if your fire alarm went off, if you just just said, oh, that's the fire alarm and I'm listening to it, I'm hearing it and it's annoying and I'm reacting from it, but you never got out of the house, it wouldn't be very effective, would it? So it's the same thing with emotions. The emotions are like fire alarm. Are you gonna just let them smolder and just attach to them and listen to them, be them? Or are you gonna say, oh, it's an alarm system. I'm going to rise up now, okay? So the, um, our emotions let us know that we've dropped in our frequency no big deal. We know how to rise back up. If you don't know to how, how to rise back up, let me know in the comments and the chat because I have lots of practices that can help You know, become aware, know what emotions are, know that they just want to be in motion more and we can spiral back up. Once we, we learn about them as alarm systems and we ask, oh, what am I making important here? So the emotions that are associated here you would be able to tell if you were um your chakra was kind of shrinking back is you would start seeing yourself as separate like that you would be a separate being need to, needing to connect with a source self that is um, when you're on the awakening journey into your ascension journey that perspective is going to change and you can tell because you are trusting yourself as source. You are source, you are that frequency and you are tuning to that spark of source within you and it's no longer a separate thing. So, which brings me up to the idea because I have a friend who was telling me she's um, atheist now and I'm kind of curious what that means. Like if you, if you have the perspective that you are source energy does that mean you're atheist because you don't believe in a separate god i was kind of curious about that what do you know about that anyway beautiful people it looks like um it looks like people will be watching the replay um these have been pretty popular videos for my page anyway <laughs> Um, still, still building my channel, building views, but, um, these seem to be the more popular videos, these uncapping the, the chakras and probably being called to it. So I hope you enjoy this seventh chakra opening. Hope you enjoyed that light language. Revisit these so that you can really create the groove for that chakra to stay open and sustain the higher frequency. Okay. Thank you for being part of this tribe. Thank you for being you and the light on the planet. And uh, again, if these videos at all create any kind of ascension symptoms or something that you would like, need support with, go to RebeccaAbraxas.com. And uh, there's lots of support ideas there for you. Free discovery call, immersion program, single sessions, um, sound healing, alignment through sound, and uh, different online courses too. All right, beautiful being. Have a wonderful weekend.